I'm delighted to welcome all of you to the Clinton Center in Enniskillen. My mother's family came from Northern Ireland, and Good Friday, April 10th, 1998, was one of the proudest days of my presidency. The agreement established on that day has given heart to peacemakers the world over and continues to endure thanks to the commitment of the people of Ireland and Northern Ireland. I remember saying at the time that it didn't matter what I thought, but how the next generation would live. And the next generation has indeed proved that it's possible to move beyond conflict toward a future of shared prosperity and shared responsibility. That's why I'm so proud the center has also become home to an international summer school, inviting students from all over the world to develop the knowledge and skills they need to initiate change-making projects in their own communities. During your time here, you will witness firsthand the benefits of peace and the ongoing work required to sustain it. You will meet people who've committed to making a difference and who continue to work for progress. And I'm sure you'll learn something that inspires you to make a difference in your home, your community, your country, and your world. It's my hope and belief that the lessons and promise of the communities around you will inspire a new generation of peacemakers throughout the world. Participants this year uh, from 10 different countries. Um, there are 18 participants in all, and they're here to really get an insight into the Northern Ireland peace process. They're all involved in peace building and they have a real conscious determination to try and make a difference in their own communities. So they're here to find out the types of activities that people have been involved in in Northern Ireland uh, to help to try and move society from peace to prosperity. We arrived just, uh, just yesterday evening, but uh, today has been very, very interesting. I come from Israel and uh, it's a country with a conflict, so it's very interesting to see the, the two sides. I mean, the fact that we first went to see the Protestant and then the Catholic. And like, the, like they said, that one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. So that's, that gives me another perspective. Both sides had men killing other civilians yes. yep. on the other side. Yeah. Was it a really sudden thing and it just appeared? Or did it take it a long still, time to build? It, it started I'm from the south, like, and um, it's just it's so real. I've learned about it before from books and things, but to actually be here, I've never realized how close the Falls Road and Shank Hill were. It's just, it's fascinating to see. United Ireland, we don't want to be part of Britain. It's going to be, I think it's going to be interesting if, it's, if it continues like this. believe it, where you're standing right now is exactly where Bill Clinton and Hillary stood, right here outside the guilt hall. That's where they actually... It has been a life-changing trip today to the London Dairy and we had to see the whole city, the Peace Bridge and a division in the settlement and the cathedral. Whitewash, tore it up across the board. A lot is happening in this town. I think it should be made the capital city of Northern Ireland because there's a lot of history here, which is very rich. And I, I, I don't know, it's, it's just overwhelming for me. Everybody in the program is just so nice, including Sean and every other member who is participating here. We've become real great friends in just the third day of the program, and I've actually learned a lot. But the most important thing that I got is that uh, it is very important to learn things on the first hand, uh, and not just read it through the books or research it on the internet. It is a completely different feeling when you talk to people, uh, when you get to uh, sh share and see what they have experienced. I think it's, it's gave me a lesson in being more tolerant to the other side. When you see other people having conflicts, you, you kind of get more sensitive to the other side in your own conflict. And uh, I think that's, that's an important step. What about the people that can't? 
afford or won't be able to go to this school. Thankfully, everybody will be walking through the gates of this campus. I believe that at some point in time, these two groups in Ireland will manage to find a common goal to so basically that it is so strong that it will outweigh their incompatible ones. Stephen used an interesting word here, conflict transformation. Um, I learned a lot of different uh, information today. The first panel this morning was phenomenal. I think it was great that we had uh, various officials from different sectors of life. You had business, you had political journalists, you had a student, and it was just great to kind of hear their experience and kind of what it's like to uh, kind of like live and function in an area where conflict has, you know, been a large part of the society. It was also great to hear about uh, different economic development tactics, especially since I'm a business major, very interested in business and economic development. So to just to hear various ways in which they're trying to develop strategies to help uh, solve Northern Ireland's kind of, I guess I'll call it a crisis, to figure out how they can actually develop those issues it was really beneficial. I am really interested in you, that as you set out on your life course, that you're not just interested in whatever field or discipline you're engaging, that you're not just interested in it as an occupation, that you're interested in it vocationally as well, that you want to be creative. And this afternoon we had a very, very, very um, inspiring discussion with Father Devine who said a lot of um, very insightful things about what he's doing in Kenya, in Shalom Center told us that though we know these things, it's important to have this in practice and that to be able to make sure that we don't mix up politics and religion because the conflict arises from there. I'm not just looking forward to the rest of the week, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen beyond the week because having all these insights and having like the things that we wanted to do makes, us, makes me feel like, wow, I'm so excited, what's up to you? What's ahead for all of us? Everyone with a yeah. disability has the opportunity to play a sport of their choice and get involved in development activity in their community. Whether it's kids who have fallen out as friends or whether it's a bigger religion, race, colour, whatever it is, whatever your issue is, use sport as your vehicle, it'll make life so much easier. When you're in, a, in an area of conflict, sometimes you, you can think outside the box or think of like creative ways to to deal with things around your life and and like thinking about how sports could be a great impact is like a, a very nice way to start and especially when uh, my my friend from Palestine said about uh, his experience with sports in Palestine it was well, it was great to hear you know like to know like people from camps can just go enjoy their time and in, in sports and stuff like that it was like really i i, I thought like that, that's something we could bring joy to, some, to people's lives, especially those who, who think they have nothing to, to be happy about. Just like, you could easily bring fun in their lives. Really nice. Oh yeah, love it. Red's also a great color. And it's good, I think it's a fantastic program that they have students coming over from America and helping students here. It's a good opportunity, I think, for both parties to kind of help one another. Uh, yeah, and gain some international experience, so I was really glad to see this. I think the thing that has most impressed me about um, the summer school is the idea that um, these are 18 young people that I know are going to be able to make the kinds of differences that they want to make and are going to be important and are going to have um, the support of their peers in doing that and they're getting so many different models for that here which is something I think is extremely important um, but I, I have within the first couple days just such a strong sense that change is going to happen from this program. I cannot even imagine what else we are going to be able to do because it feels as though we've gotten so much in already, we've learned so much, we've thought so much, um, we've planned so much. Uh, so I am very much looking forward to it, uh, but the idea that we have all of this time left is mind-blowing to me. Yeah, I think we are So we're just going to show you how to push your chair, okay? So we're going to ask Kyle to give you a demonstration. So Kyle, just push up, turn and push back down again. 
My first impression is that it's difficult, but uh, I don't know, I think we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, well, yeah, but you know, I think. That's really difficult, folks. That's really difficult. We've been stuck in a, in a week full of talking about politics, conflict resolution, peace, and so on and so forth, but this is what matters. This is, this is probably one of the major memories people are going to leave here with. Uh, it, it hits home. For me, on a, anytime I'm on a basketball court, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing feeling, but this addition of try, stepping out of our world for a second, stepping out of our comfort zone just for a second, uh, opens your eyes. It, it influences your thought process in the future. And uh, I hope that the points I could give them, they, they could remember them, but uh, I'll definitely see what I can do even back home in Canada or even in the West Bank and such to see if uh, I could even help out even further because this, as a basketball coach running a basketball team, this is where I want to be. I, I like to be on the court. So. That's a very easy way of saying, well, you know, we don't have to make money here. You do need to operate with your money in a financially viable, sustainable manner. And some of my these activities, we develop as and better. So hence, well, here today in Dublin, um, I definitely have found that. Um, Risk taking is not defined by profession. We, we all heard from students, and they definitely have taken many risks in their past of defining their own entrepreneurship activities where they're specifically focusing on helping their communities. And uh, innovative ideas, definitely. Um, really showing that it, it can be done. I know this entire conference here at the Clinton Center was talking about what can you do when you return home? How can you take the lessons that you've gained back to your communities and I've seen today that it's definitely possible. It, it just takes work, it just takes the ability to define your interest, your passion, number one, and um, making it happen through collaboration, partnership, and commitment. Before coming here, I hated my country. Loving, listening to different people, I begin to realize that uh, every country has their own share of challenge. And I'm beginning to look more positive towards my country. And instead of running away from my country, I'm beginning to look at what can I contribute towards the peaceful and sustainable peace in my country. I have had the privilege my whole life of being surrounded by people who are brilliant, um, who are talented, who are driven, passionate, um, ambitious, caring, and yet this is the group of people that I feel most confident will be global change makers. Um, and so it's been really exciting to be a part of their networking um, and to know that I'll be able to support them as they move forward. and go out to change the world and to make the world a better place. Um, and I think for me the difference between them at the beginning and the students at the end is that at the beginning of the program they were all people who knew that they cared deeply and at the end of the program they knew what to do about those feelings and about the changes that they wanted to make. So they weren't potential change makers anymore, they felt embodied um, as change makers and they felt like those ideas really had a way that they could be manifest moving forward. We had an event within the summer school today that the students internationally had a, had a part of organizing. The opening of a, an exhibition to honor President Clinton and his role in the peace process in Northern Ireland and uh, Nancy Soderbergh opened that for us today. The students were interviewed by the world's media, BBC, RTE, NBC, um, Al Jazeera, Radio, Radio Ulster, Radio 5 Live, you know. It was an added bonus for the G8 brought us that 
significantly added votes, yes, and for uh, President Obama and Prime Minister Cameron to drive past, and wave as they went past the centre was, was there. Then the students stand outside among the crowd. It was a touching moment, and it's one I know is appreciated. I think that it's uh, a very special place to be, and especially as an American, to have to be here at the Clinton Center. The idea of reconciliation and trying to move forward, uh, what, what, other, what a better place to be than here in Northern Ireland and uh, try to talk through these peace discussions and conflict resolution as a whole. You know, Northern Ireland may not be perfect, and the Good Friday Agreement may not be perfect, but it has you know, established peace here, and uh, that's what we all want. Good morning. We are honored to participate in this year's Clinton Center International School in Enniskillen. 17 of us participated from Kosovo, Ireland, the US, Kenya, Northern Ireland, South Africa, Israel, the Philippines, Palestine, and the Basque region, Spain. We received many valuable and memorable insights into the Northern Ireland peace process from a wide range of perspectives, listened to and interacted with a range of people from business, community, political, and sporting life, who have made a difference through their individual and collective actions. As a result, we are committed to working for peace and prosperity by developing and undertaking meaningful and entrepreneurial projects to make a difference in our own community.